welcome to another vlog having some coffee about to have some breakfast just took Dorian out for a walk and um, this morning I received um, a package from Kaya Cosmetics and um, I'm gonna film the makeup look that I promise you this is how many Kaya products I've received I cannot even hold them with two hands it's a lot of new stuff so let's get started with the serum first i've never tried their skincare and they have a really extensive range of skincare so i chose all of these products myself to create according to tiktok a lighter makeup look uh, tiktok is giving new names to very simple <laughs> things to sort of rebrand them like strawberry girl makeup light makeup cappuccino makeup mocha makeup doesn't matter um it's essentially a nude sort of brownie warm toned makeup look um so i chose this sos rescue serum which comes in a gorgeous glass bottle um this will be great for winter so my skin gets super dry so I'm going to apply it on my skin right now. It has a very clean scent. Oh, and it feels really lovely. Very hydrating. I feel like it's more like a lightweight cream rather than a serum. And I love, love, love Kaya BB sticks. You will know that because I've completely used this up and uh, they sent me a new one and uh, my shade is 10w they also have a very extensive shade range and i love their packaging it's all metal or glass and yeah this is a new bb cream and they currently have these sets of a bb stick and a brush uh, they have these new silver brushes so this is f13 and um, it looks like this it's insanely soft like so 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 soft i love that it's metal as well i'm gonna use this brush to apply the bb product wow it feels so nice because the brush is super soft i often use my kaya sponge which i love as well but no i'm gonna be using this brush and the reason I love this BB stick is because it lets your skin shine through it. Like it doesn't have heavy coverage, it's very lightweight. So if you need more coverage, this might not be for you. But they do have lots of other um, higher coverage foundations or like serum foundations mm, to choose from. I'm gonna come in closer so... You can probably see like my skin is still visible through the product. I love that. I really, really don't like heavy um, foundations or like base products, powders. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna use another BB stick that I already had in my collection in 40W. Um, so I got this one specifically to use as a bronzer. It's quite warm tone i'm gonna use this i recently saw this technique on tiktok i know i look like a mad person now but trust the process mm. this is more of a product that's gonna give you a sunkiest look rather um than a contouring product i'm just adding a little bit of warmth to my face and as you can see it blends really seamlessly and doesn't look crazy <laughs> once you've blended it in okay now i'm gonna use a concealer which is called it's iconic satin radiance concealer and i got it in 1w they have um two different concealers and i love the packaging again it's glass it has a doe foot applicator and uh, normally i would use their bb stick as a concealer as well but because it doesn't have heavy coverage sometimes i need a little bit more for my under eyes i use a tiny bit around my nose maybe just like maybe some here i 
think I'm gonna use the sponge for the concealer. It's got really good coverage. Kind of reminded me that I need to use a concealer because sometimes I have super dark under eyes. Oh wow, I don't know if you can tell, but this really brightened my under eye area and it just reminded me that I needed a concealer like this to just, yeah, just wake me up basically. And I got their blush stick in Sweet Craving. Um, which comes in this adorable packaging. It's And it's like a dusty brownie rose color, I would say. I had their um, powder blush in Strawberry, Wild Strawberry, which looks like this. It's got a beautiful sheen to it and it's a lot lighter, but I wanted something slightly deeper since it's autumn. So I'm gonna... Try this blush on my nose and I'm gonna use that same brush. Blends beautifully. It's also got a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, it's just such a natural everyday blush. Can you guys see it's so beautiful? It just makes you look so healthy highly recommend it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so perfect for just like popping in your bag all right moving on to my brows i had their push-up brow gel which i don't use very much to be honest but i need a product to just brush through my brows right now i just feel like it's a little too wet and always picks up too much product I don't know, it's probably the only Kaya product that I'm not mad about. But you know my obsession with this brow product. All of the writing has rubbed off. I got a new one and uh, it's called Micro Brow Pencil and I use it in the color taupe. So this is what it looks like and I'm gonna use a new one. This is just a felt tip, felt tip product and... I love it so much. So that's it for my brows. I highly, highly recommend these ones. If you like drawing individual brow hairs, I'm not going back to um, powder pencils. They sent me an entire palette that actually contains one of the shadows that I really wanted. It's called Stockholm and it's just... Um, it's just a brown eyeshadow. But look at the colors. They're so beautiful. They're very autumnal. This is a great one for Christmas. This is a nice sort of warm color. London is like a champagne. They're all beautiful. So I'm gonna take my finger and apply London all over my eyelid, just roughly. Then I'm gonna take their E. 08 brush which looks like this it's like a flat tip brush most of their brushes look like this but now they have these new silver ones a little update um i think i'm gonna take santa theresa which is this wow they're so pigmented and uh, i'm gonna take it through my crease my lower lash line this feels like such an old school makeup video. Uh, I'm gonna use Stockholm, which is this darker brown. Yeah, they're so pigmented. Make sure you tab them off. I'm not sure if I want to use the darker colors because I don't want to ruin the look. Maybe I'll take a little bit of Milan, which is this beautiful bronze color. I'm just going to use a little bit of that along my lashes. Hmm, that's pretty. Then I have their E04 brush, which is this lovely, super soft and fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to blend out the eyeshadow. Oh my god, it's like buttery soft. This is crazy. I'm going to take my beauty blender and clean up. Eyeshadow fallout under my eyes and I'm gonna use their mascara, which is called Next Level Mascara And it's got 
a plasticky wand. Oh, it's nice. It's very lengthening. I'm not gonna apply any on my lower lash line. Guys, look at Dorian. <laughs> He's living his best life. I'm gonna do my lips now. So I have their lip liner in La Visa, which has become one of my like top five lip liners. It's a really good sort of rosy nude. And they have two new shades that I was choosing between Bianca, which is like a warm nude, and Nuga, which is the one that I got. And it is supposedly a cooler nude. And I wanted to have a cool tone nude. So let's test it on. They're just so creamy. Oh yeah, now this is definitely my number one lip liner. Because I was looking exactly for a shade like this. They have nailed it. So if you're looking for good lip liners, definitely check them out. You can see the color difference. And I also chose their lipstick in Honey Elixir, which is a nude lipstick. It comes, I think it's metal as well. Or maybe plastic, I don't know, but it feels really lovely. It's got a magnet and this is the lipstick. It's got a very vanilla -y, um smell to it. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's got this sheen to it and it's not too, too pigmented. I personally don't like lipsticks that are overly pigmented and creamy. You know, I want to be able to see the texture of my lips through a lipstick and this is it. And it's such a perfect nude color. It really goes well with the um, lip liner. I love this makeup look. And they also sent me two more of their brushes. F06, uh, which... It's like an angled um, sort of blusher brush. The other brush is F03, which is this fluffy powder brush. So, so, so soft. I might add just a little bit of the blush on an angled brush. Straight onto a brush. Okay, and this, you guys, is my latte makeup look. Or a brown makeup look. I think it's perfect for autumn. It's very wearable, perfect for every day. I love it. It's definitely my kind of makeup and honestly check out Kaya Cosmetics because everything is really lovely quality from the brushes to makeup products. They have become staples in my collection and it's definitely now one of my favorite makeup brands because it's just like real beautiful textures, easy to wear, um yeah so i want to say a massive thank you to kaya cosmetics for sending over these products so that i could create this makeup look for you guys and uh yeah i'm gonna link everything in the info bar so check it out the exact products that i used and um i hope you enjoyed it and now i have to run and make an arrangement and this is my flower run outfit the bomber jacket is reserved Cashmere and wool scarf is reserved. Cannot stop wearing it, it's the softest thing. This is a very old vintage bag I just found at my parents. A thick mohair sweater and a white t-shirt. And my navy blue Adidas Gazelle sneakers. I'm back home with the flowers.
welcome back to our kitchen. Rob is just cleaning something. Um, got into another mini grocery haul. Whoa. Okay, let's see what we got. Two bananas. Herring. And I got this super thinly sliced labarica. Because uh, I want to make like um, tomato carpaccio. Like very thinly sliced tomato and put this on top. Some olive oil and yeah, some other goodies. So I think I'll try that. Lots of bread. Then I saw these. Ukrainian handmade bublini bread rolls. This is also a Lithuanian thing, bread rolls, like we used to have them as kids. Um, champignons, some more meat, kefir, cotton rounds, a cucumber, because I want to make like a Korean cucumber. I got this uh, kimchi spicy chili sauce. Then I got rukulum. Uh, two passion fruits, burrata, red onion, a carrot, and some cream because I'm gonna make. We have some fresh pumpkin, um, so I want to make pumpkin soup for lunch tomorrow. So we need like onion, carrot, cream for that. And uh, tonight we'll have some pasta. We're both making dinner tonight. <laughs> These are so yummy. Um, so snacking on, on them while cooking. Rokas is peeling champignons. I'm gonna chop the garlic, roast it in oil, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty simple pasta. We'll use this arabiata sauce. <laughs> side dish. I'm not sure if you can call it carpaccio but it kind of looks like it. So thinly sliced tomatoes, a bit of meat, um, red onion, pepper, dill, lots of olive oil, um, red wine vinegar and I'm just adding a bit of maldon salt. Enough? Salt and pepper, Just some more pepper, 